Hello everyone, I have another Bible review for you here. We have something really cool, really special that uh, I got from Zondervan. Zondervan has sent me this uh, copy for review and this copy on the right I have purchased uh, for comparison purposes. Uh, so what we have here is a New American Standard Journal the Word in the 1995 uh, edition. Now this is uh, a reference edition and uh, it's very very neat on the left hand side we have uh, the brown edition this is a hardback copy it doesn't have a flexible cover but it is uh, very soft uh, this one has two tones of brown a darker brown and a lighter brown with uh, perimeter stitching uh, double line actually very very nice as you can see here and on the right we have the black one a leather soft hardback as well um, but this one has only uh, the stitching on the joint uh, cover which is a two-piece or well, actually three-piece cover uh, very classy as well this one comes with a strap this one does not uh, the black one comes with one black ribbon and the brown one comes with a brown ribbon and a gold uh, ribbon uh, they're thin but they're nice they're not so uh, the difference between these two basically are the cover one ribbon versus two this one has a strap to basically let me show you close your your Bible like this to keep it safe and this one does not have that strap so these are the aesthetic differences between the two so let's focus now on the interior both are exactly the same so both will come with this uh, Bible belongs to a uh, page this is uh, basically a thick kind of paper this is not a vinyl that would have been uh, an improvement but in this case it's, it's thick, it's actually thick, so I, I, I think this will hold together uh, quite a long time. Now we have here the introduction to the Journal of the World Reference Bible, the Sunderman. And, and this is indeed the Journal of the World Reference Bible 1995 translation, uh, published by Sunderman. Just want to show you this so that you can take a look it is printed in China now this paper is white it's not the cream paper that most journal Bibles uh, come with uh, which to me is an improvement because for some reason my eyes like better the white paper to a yellow or cream paper and this paper is, is it's pretty it's not thin uh, I haven't tested it yet, but uh, I think this paper is gonna uh, take uh, your uh, ink from your pens pretty well. So, let's take a look. Here we have Miracles of Jesus, Parables of Jesus, Perspective from the Bible, Prayers of the Bible, and Promises from the Bible in the back of the book. And right here in the front we have the foreword, Preface to the New American Standard, Bible, Principles of Translation, Explanation of General Format, and abbreviations and special markings. This is the foreword. As you want to stay there for a few seconds, you can stop the video to read this. Preface to the New American Standard Bible. Principles of translation. Explanation of general format. This will help you to, to uh, navigate this Bible with uh, full understanding and abbreviations and special markings. So, the Old Testament, it comes with this lovely red, dark 
red title page and here we go Genesis so we want to have a dark red for titles books uh, chapters and the reference are gonna be relegated to the inner gutter which I prefer this one is in a verse by verse format and single column which is uh, my favorite and then next to it you have this ruled faint line paper uh, to take your notes right next to the text which in my view is the right way to to make a note-taking Bible you have uh, this space for your notes next to the text and in case you need some references or, or additional references you have them here where they are not gonna distracting you from your notes and the biblical text this is the best way to create a note-taking Bible in my view then down the bottom we're gonna have the textual notes from the translators this is not the full set this is a shorter uh, version of the translator notes which I wish they would have the full set because in my view my understanding this this uh, translators notes on the text and different uh, uh, explanations on the text are way more important than cross-referencing I like to have references there I don't mind but I prefer to have the translators notes uh, full set if when, whenever possible that's also my preference uh, but nevertheless we have some of those notes translators notes on the bottom this margin is actually two inches wide right and uh, we have about nine inches of space for notes so nine inches high two inches wide for notes uh, this Bible is very very readable I like the size of this font it's about in my eyes it's about a 9, 9.5 looks like a 9.5 at least in my eyes it does not hurt my eyes to to spend time on this problem with with some of these uh, editions is that sometimes the text is so small that when you try to spend some time long periods of time your eyes start getting uh, tired and uh, I'm not uh, a teenager anymore so I appreciate that the text is not that tiny and this is a red letter edition so I would like to show you in the New Testament something really cool so let's say let's go to the book of uh, here we go John the red letter is gonna be dark for the titles cut chapters verses on the on the uh, references but the actual text is going to be a lighter brighter red so it makes a difference between chapters titles uh, and the actual text I can see right here this text is a very nice readable red I like it I like that red very consistent if I go to Matthew check that out all that red and it's very consistent I mean You can judge for yourself I really like it and in the back we're gonna have something really cool that I really think is uh, extra for this type of uh, edition which is this uh, miracles of Jesus and the Gospels four Gospels and it tells you all these type of differences for example these are the miracles showing power over nature 
raising the dead, healing. And here we go, some of the parables. And the Gospels. And here we have perspectives from the Bible. Uh, very helpful, very helpful. I'm just going to go through that so you can take a look, which, because I think you can benefit from this. Those are very, very helpful uh, things to have on the Bible. And then prayers of the Bible, which I think uh, are very, very important. If we could actually learn what these prayers uh, basically have behind them, and we can apply them to our lives and make them ours when we pray to the Lord, we could see how the power of God through prayer when we are referring to biblical prayer comes alive in our lives not to say I'm promises from the Bible who doesn't want to have promises from God right especially in, in such times as this we are living in the world let's get back to the Word of God and, and try to apply what God says have faith and I believe that's the part where we have the note re note sorry a note regarding the type uh, 2k Denmark right have uh, designed this font especially for the NASB New American Standard 1995 I love it I think it's very nice and readable So, we have also on the back the ISBN, see if I can focus, there you go, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to both these Bibles, black and the brown. And if you have any questions, please uh, drop us a line on the comment section down below the, this video and I'll try to uh, answer uh, as soon as I can, if I can, answer your question. And uh, hopefully this is going to help you uh, in your journey with Journal the Word. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Bible review. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. Give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you soon in another Bible review or rebind. Until then, Shalom.